In this example, uh, we're told that the uh, quantity y is directly proportional to the quantity x. Uh, and the constant of proportionality for this uh, direct proportion function is k equals 2 fifths. And uh, what we want to do is find the value of y when x is 40. Uh, so recall from one of our previous examples uh, that when we say the quantity y is directly proportional to the quantity x, uh, we mean two things by that. We mean that uh, y is a function of x. And furthermore, uh, y is a linear function of x. Uh, and in that linear function, uh, the uh, y-intercept is 0. Um, so we know that uh, uh, y and x are related uh, by a um, linear function formula that uh, looks like this. Okay, uh, Just y equals mx uh, plus 0 because the y-intercept for uh, direct proportion functions is 0. So we can uh, simplify that to uh, uh, that uh, formula to just y equals m times x. We don't have to write that uh, uh, constant 0. Uh, but recall again that in the uh, context of uh, direct proportion functions, uh, the slope is uh, called the constant of proportionality and is referred to uh, using the letter k. Um, so um, Let's rewrite uh, this uh, linear function formula again um, as y equals k times x. So that would be the more uh, traditional way, uh, the more familiar way of uh, writing down a direct proportion uh, function. So direct proportion functions have very simple formulas. You just have uh, the output is going to be uh, some constant uh, called the constant of proportionality uh, times the input variable x. Now, in this example, we're told, however, uh, the value for uh, uh, k, we're told that that's 2 fifths. So we can fill that into our uh, direct proportion function formula. And so um, here's the complete formula for this function, just y equals uh, 2 fifths times x. And now we just want to use this formula to find the value of y when x is 40. So that's very easy because all we have to do is uh, substitute that input 40 uh, into uh, our direct proportion uh, uh, function formula and then find the matching y value. So we have that y is equal to uh, 2 fifths uh, times uh, 40. And now let's do this uh, calculation. Uh, so this is going to be uh, 2 times uh, 40 um, over 5. Uh, when we multiply 2 fifths times 40, um, here's how we do that calculation. And uh, we can actually simplify this before we uh, do any of the arithmetic by dividing uh, 5 into 40. Uh, of course, 5 goes into 40 8 times. And so we get here that y is just equal to 2 times 8, or uh, 16. Uh, so there's the answer to the question. Uh, uh, y is going to be 16 when x is uh, 40.